Hey guys, Technic here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone compass if it's not working, it's frozen, or simply not giving you the correct direction. So as you see here, the compass is an app that's built in on your iPhone by default. Now it should work automatically, but for some reason, if it's not working, there's a couple things you can do. First thing is go ahead and close out the app. So if you have the app open like this, you're going to slide it up and it will show all the apps that are open. You're going to slide by holding it up and that closes the app completely and then you're going to reopen the app and hopefully now the compass is working. Now if that's not working, the next thing you want to do is kind of troubleshoot with your phone. If you have a case on, sometimes there's a lot of case that has a magnetic feel that impacts the phone's ability to kind of activate the actual sensors to do the compassing so if you take off your case and see if that resolved the issue now if that doesn't resolve the issue the next thing you want to do is go into your settings and this time when you're in your settings you're going to go ahead and check out your location services so in under privacy and security you're going to see there's location services now you need to ensure that location service is on and once it's on you go down here where it says system services you click on system services and ensure that compass calibration is turned on this is a default setting by default it should be on but for some reason if it got turned off or switched off by some accidental or software uh, uh, update it might need to be turned on so you want to make sure that is enabled now after you have checked that's enabled the other setting you want to check in your settings here it's going to be for actual compass on so the main setting page if you go down and scroll all the way to compass here you'll notice here there's going to be an option like this for the compass and again you click on location here you want to make sure that you are sharing your location while using your app so that's going to be other thing and you can also use precise location along with that you also want to go ahead if you want to turn off true note sometimes it helps true note basically gives you if you have this on the geographical true north but if you have it turn it off it'll give you some of the digital true note so sometimes if you see it if you turn this off and see if that helps and if it's not you just turn it back on but we've seen that sometimes this setting can interfere with the compass accuracy as well now after you have done that and it's still not working it's time to give your phone a nice fresh uh, restart by doing a forced restart so you're going to press and release the volume up press and release the volume down and then hold the side button on the right hand side just like that and we're not going to slide to power off we're going to keep on holding that side button until we see the screen go completely black and then the apple logo reappear at that moment we'll let go of that side button just like that and what this is doing is rebooting the code give it a nice fresh clean restart this method will not delete any of your personal data like photos videos apps or anything like that all it's doing is ensuring that if there's any software issue impacting your phone's functionality like the compass it will resolve those issues and once you're on it and now you should be able to go ahead and open up hopefully it is working for you again by opening up compass now let's say it's still not working you're having issues what else can you do to fix it the next thing you can do is go into your settings and you're going to go to general and the software update and if there's an update out make sure you're up to date with this latest software version for your phone and the reason is a previous update might have broken the functionality of compass so you want to go ahead click on download and install but before you do that keep in mind this could take you half an hour to 45 minutes to download and install during this update you want to make sure that your phone is connected to a good wi-fi or cellular data connection and your phone is at least 50 percent or more which you can check by pulling it down so if not just connect it to a power source and lastly if none of these settings is in help the last thing you can do is in your settings here go to general and then go for all the way down here which says transfer reset iphone you can click on that and then you're going to do a reset here and the reset we want to do is this option for reset a uh, location and privacy setting and anything along with the location privacy setting will be set back to the default setting that it was and hopefully that should help if you're having issues with the compass so that's it for fixing the compass if it's not working on your iphone hopefully by now compass is working if so please make sure the like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time